I'm Jeffrey Schnapp. I'm a faculty member at, uh, here at Harvard and the founding faculty director of Metal Lab. I think the um, main insight that I came away with uh, has to do with the contested nature of the boundary line between the private and the public domains in contemporary life. I thought uh, the difference in perspective between those who are engaged largely in managing and developing information um, infrastructures versus the perspective of people involved in the curation and um, construction of, of actual physical public spaces and the intersection between the two brought a very rich set of perspectives that don't necessarily converge in, in terms of their core values. I think that the issue of those boundaries is itself the source of a, one of the major uh, political and cultural debates of our time. Uh, and I don't think there's a single answer to that question. I think there's a proliferation of different solutions that are conditioned by different sets of social and cultural needs uh, within different sorts of social groups. And that same set, uh, that same complexity extends to the, the sort of global scale, the, the uh, differences between the position occupied by populations in the developing world, for instance, and in the advanced uh, post-industrial economies. The most, for me, the most exciting feature of today's uh, conversation has really been uh, those points of friction between uh, people coming at these questions from uh, very different sets of constraints and uh, considerations. The particular frictions that I enjoy, in part because of my own uh, intellectual temperament, have to do with the differences between uh, practitioner communities and um, the community of thinkers and policymakers who operate at a, a sort of different plane in terms of the, the sorts of questions that they uh, consider. I'm a cultural historian and uh, I have an acute set interest in public spaces precisely because one of the major challenges that forms of humanistic knowledge face in our time has to do with their limited ability to communicate with broader non-specialist sorts of audiences. So for me the question of public spaces is also closely connected to the question of audiences for knowledge and the creation of public forms of knowledge.